So I'm thinking of doing a video kind of like Peter McKinnon, but not like Peter McKinnon. I want to do it with like our own style with my friends. Good idea. Obviously. I'm, yeah. I'm down. Awesome. Let's do it. Go well, great. Go well, great. Where are you thinking? I'm thinking somewhere kind of like majestic. What about a lake? A lake would be good. It's got to be at sunset. Obviously. Yeah, we've got to do golden hour. Definitely. There's some lakes in Idaho. North Idaho's got some good lakes. That has some potential. And mountains. True. What about... Lake... Hello there. My name's Jessica. I'm a filmmaker, and this is the story about the best picture I ever took. We're ready to go. We are ready to go. You ever wake up with an idea, but you have no idea how it's going to play out? What if it doesn't work? Or it's not as good as you hoped it would be? Or nobody likes it? Or I don't like it? But you can't stop thinking about it. What if it works? What if it's better than you thought it would be? I knew the idea of this video wasn't going to go away. So I called up some friends and told them my idea and they were in. I told them a time and a place and we began day one. Hey, what's up guys? Right, How's it going? We, uh, we have our snacky toes with us. Oh yeah? Yeah. Nugs. Oh, snap. Yeah. Wendy's oh, for the win. <laughs> so this point is Higgins Point. It's where they have all the bald eagles come. So if you've heard of like everybody taking photos, this is where you go. And they, there's hundreds, literally hundreds of them are out here. Like it's a photographer's dream. Paradise. Come out here. So yeah, that would be like November to February. So we just missed that. Meet the crew. My husband, Zach, and the Uptains, Aubrey, Eric, and Finley. Check out the place, Higgins Point, on Lake Coeur d'Alene. Time, sunset. Everything started to fall into place. Except, we weren't sure if we were going to get a good shot of the sunset. Which is kind of the point of the whole video. Let's back up a bit though. I grew up in the 90s when cameras used film, you only had about 30 pictures to a roll and there was no way to tell if they turned out until they were developed, likely at your local Walgreens. My family moved a lot, so I eventually took disposable cameras to school so I could remember my friends. I think my first digital camera I had was when I was 15 years old. I got another one when I was 18 and another when I was 21. Photography has been easy for me. I don't know why I never took any classes on it in high school or college, but it never felt forced. Once Facebook became a thing, I was that friend who would upload pictures from the party or from special moments. There was just one photo I regretted never uploading. Yep, that's right. Okay, it looks like your photo's gonna be 1977 today. Perfect. Have a great day. Thanks, you too. All right, so I wanted to film this whole thing based on, we asked each other, I asked you what your best photo you've ever taken was. And I started looking through your photos and I was like, wow, like you've got some killer shots. I do not. <laughs> and I was like, why don't I have any killer shots? And one of my first digital camera I don't have any of my photos from it. It's all on my old laptop that's gone. So I don't have anything. But the shot that I took that I love was at Lake Coeur d'Alene. Uh, and it was when my friends and I we were traveling back from Tri-Cities to Rexburg, going back to school. Okay. And we were on that highway. And I was like, whoa, the sun is setting. 
what is this lake? Where are we? <laughs> it was perfectly in focus. It was this incredible golden just blast. It was exposed perfectly. The trees were like all dark. So it was just magical. And I was like, whoa, like I took it and was like, this is a crazy photo. This is insane. Like out of like the back seat of yeah. a car yeah. that was moving. And it was just like, whoa. So for me, that's why, like one of the reasons why I want to do this is to hopefully reenact that sunset. Yeah. And be like, this is the best photo I've ever taken. Nice. There is that moment when you like, you know that you have that good photo. There's always a difference when you see the moment and when you take a picture and it's different because it's not the moment, right? But when yeah. you capture a really good photo, it is that moment in your eyes store, right? And that's like, that's the difference between a, oh, I took a picture on my phone and I took a picture of the moment. I like that. It's just capturing that moment. It's your show. I want that. Yeah, I want it back. I've, I've lost it and I want it back. So I've already captured it. I just need it again. And how cool would it be to have it way better than before even? Here we go. Hey man, how's your day going? It's going all right, how are you? Oh, well, it's going, it's going. I haven't messed up anything today. So. Well, that's good. Oh. That was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't get the shot we wanted, so we went to bed hoping for a good sunny day. You know, there's a saying in Idaho when it comes to spring and fall weather, and that's, if you don't like the weather, wait five minutes. Unfortunately, that meant waiting for the right conditions to go out and make that hike again. For a while there, I was even wondering, what if that moment won't happen again? That it really is gone forever. But, as any photographer will tell you, you don't give up until you get the perfect shot. I think the reason why I did this was to just remind myself of why I love taking pictures, why I love taking video. And it's being out here and being in nature. This is a really unique thing to do, to be able to capture a sunset. Years later, how many years has it been? What, 2009? So do the math. 14 years trying to capture this photo. But you know what I still want to capture? It wasn't enough to get a photo of the sunset over Lake Coeur d'Alene. No, if I really wanted to do that moment justice, I needed to go back to the exact spot I was at 14 years ago. The reason why I say that photo was the best photo I ever took wasn't because of the camera or how long a hike it took me to get that shot. It was because I caught a moment that took my breath away. When you stop to think about it, life is full 
of breathtaking moments. And what are photos, if not a tribute to the moment? Put that in the video. Oh, no, you're yes, not. I am. 